Hi, my name is Katie Beyer with Concierge Physical Therapists, and I'm a pelvic floor therapist with a focus on the pregnant and postpartum population. A majority of women have low back pain and pelvic girdle pain during pregnancy. Some studies show as high as 72%. And up to 30 to 50% of women refrain from work or social activities due to this pain. And when you think about what our bodies are going through during pregnancy, this kind of makes sense. And life generally doesn't stop while pregnant, so it's important to figure out the best ways to manage your growing body during everyday activities. You need to make sure your body is ready for the growing belly, labor and delivery, and ultimately to care for the coming baby. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to activate your two primary stabilizers. Your transverse abdominis, which is your deepest abdominal core layer, which wraps around from the front to back, and your pelvic floor which is seen here, deepest layer, and the more superficial. Pelvic floor muscle training has been shown to decrease pain in the low back and pelvic girdle in pregnant women in the third trimester and in the first three months postpartum. And it does not appear to affect labor and delivery in a negative way. It was once thought that contracting and activating this muscle group would then make it harder during delivery to relax it to get the baby out, but we're seeing that just is, isn't the case. And it makes sense that learning what an active pelvic floor versus a relaxed pelvic floor during delivery would be beneficial. So to start, we're gonna work on activating your transverse uh, abdominis. So I want you to sit comfortably, or you can lie on your side. Um, we're going to use our breath to help. As you exhale, I want you to draw your hip bones toward one another without moving your pelvis or your spine. Just feeling a gentle tightening. And then relax and it can kind of open back up. You can also imagine a book in your lap, an open book, and as you exhale, draw it closed. And then as you inhale, the book opens back up. So you're gonna start with the natural rhythm of your breath. So as you exhale, tighten, contract. As you inhale, relax. Now you can pause the video at this time and to practice. When you feel like you have this down, you can start increasing the time you're holding it as you breathe, um, trying to get up to 10 seconds and then do this 10 times, two to three times a day. Next, we're gonna move on to the pelvic floor, both activation and relaxation. So again, sit comfortably, and you can also sit on a ball, or you can have a small towel roll underneath your pelvic floor to help give you some feedback uh, as you do this exercise. So again, as you exhale, you're going to imagine your sit bones, which are these bones right here. You can feel them as you sit down. Um, you're gonna imagine those drawing towards one another and up towards your head as you exhale. And then as you inhale, the opposite, you're gonna imagine those sit bones spreading out and kind of the pelvic floor dropping down as if you're releasing a little bit of gas. And again, as you exhale, try to draw those sit bones together and up. You can imagine an elevator kind of lifting up off the towel. And as you inhale, the sit bones are spreading out, pelvic floor is dropping down, the elevator is dropping down onto the towel. You can pause the video at this time and practice this. Again, start with the rhythm of your breathing, and then after you feel like you have it, you can increase the time of activation and the time of relaxation to 10 seconds as you continue breathing uh, and do 10 times, two to three times per day. And these are really the foundation for many stability exercises to help strengthen you during this time. And you really wanna start thinking about these muscle groups um, while you are doing your activities during your day, especially if they're painful. So let's say you are painful when you do a squat. You wanna first activate your uh, abdominal muscles and your pelvic floor. Try to maintain this as you perform the squat to pick up something or if carrying your toddler is painful, try to engage your pelvic floor and your transverse abdominis at the same time. Now sometimes these exercises simply aren't enough. So if that's the case, there are also things like this stability belt. There's many kinds. This is just an example of one. You can find them online. 
And to wear it, you place it just about in the center of your body, kind of across your backside, so that the lower portion of it is just above this kind of bony trochanter, or right where the crease of your leg is. And you pull both sides together so that it's snug but not too tight. It shouldn't be painful. It should just feel secure. Um, and this can help relieve a lot of your symptoms as well. So this, along with the muscle activations, can really help you get through your day uh, and decrease pain both during and after pregnancy. And these are just a couple tips to help pain during this time, and I hope they help make yours a healthier and happier pregnancy. In upcoming videos, I'll be going over ergonomics with, th with things such as breastfeeding, changing your baby, and carrying a car seat. Uh, going over some exercises to strengthen your pelvic girdle and low back to prevent pain. Stretches to help with pain in your pelvic girdle and lumbar spine. And discussions of exercises for carpal tunnel. This video is made in collaboration with Concierge Physical Therapists, the Jewels of Capitol Hill, and Nested, Childbirth Education with a Purpose.